Morning traders, and this is your Dow Jones day trading setup for today. So yesterday was a classic example of why I hate trading um, noise. And uh, whenever a banker talks, it's a noise as far as I'm concerned. So essentially what's, what's transpired is we've got this massive green bar. But my concern with this um, price action at the moment is that we rallied hard. We then had a lot of indecision for more than a week and then all of a sudden we've got this massive green bar and it's straight up onto an, a level pretty much closed on the level and if I take this to the weekly nothing really in there except for these weekly closes here and then you've got a test there and you've got a close there and you've got another close there and now we're busy at this area again so reality is this could be this could extend um, not really an exhaustion bar on the weekly but on the daily it does look a little bit suspect okay but then again we had one down here and we rallied after that so anything's possible oscillators are starting to group nicely at the top we're coming to previous highs so it depends what the feds come out with so today of which way this market drives but for me this is just a i'm very cautious at the moment okay so looking at the three hour uh you can you can't really see the the move but i'll show you i'll show you on the uh on the one hour what i'm talking about basically on the three hour we do have That was our original trend line there, and that was the area that I was looking to buy off. Okay, but waiting for the bankers to finish their nonsense, and you can see we almost came below my stop area. We were very close, came below the stop area. Now, if you look at this on the hour, um, there's the stop there. Your entry was here, but you've got this massive close on the hour below that. And that would have, well, for me anyway, it's, um, it's a warning sign that uh, this level may not hold. But anyway, that was the wrong thing to do. And you can see we rallied straight away. Okay. Now, if you look at what we've got going on at the moment, we do have a flat top triangle. Okay. So, you know, all intents and purposes, you're expecting this thing to to move to the upside still. I'm just extremely cautious right now. Fed's coming out this afternoon. Uh, there may be a little bit of a, a continuation trade on the DAX on which this will follow. But the closer we get to the Fed's and possibly even the whole day, we're going to do this kind of thing here. We're just going to move sideways. Or alternatively, we'll move sideways to down or sideways to up. Um, but I don't expect any major movement until after the Feds this afternoon. Okay. And as a result, I'm not really interested in trading this at the moment, regardless of what ha what plays out this morning. Um, I'll wait for the Feds to finish their nonsense and then start looking for structure to trade off. I'm not a fan of trading the, the noise. Okay. So just to give you an example here. So 12 minutes, if you're looking for, if I was looking for entries, which I was looking for an entry here, um, look at the 12 minute, broke through this trend line. And the minute you break through a trend line like that, I immediately start looking for the next level. And the next level was here. This pin bar didn't get there. So that would have been the most logical level for me to wait for a trade. Didn't materialize. Okay. And if you look at the DAX, we blew through levels and then reversed to the upside. So, uh, these noisy um, events are always, always so volatile, and uh, you know sometimes you need you need a very strong resolve to actually get into the trade and trade in the direction that you that it's moving. But I've often seen it rally like this: you will wait for the pullback, get in, form the double top, and then all of a sudden bombs down to the bottom. So not something I like trading. I prefer to trade structure. And uh, at this stage, we do have a little bit of structure forming here. And I'm going to do that. 
that is our structure that's forming it's a triangle and before the market opens if you're trading at 12 minutes I think that would be yeah if I do it there yeah that's the most logical move to the upside so that's two six seven one seven and I think if I remember correctly there is a gap to the upside okay that gap is closed now I don't think there was another one uh, let's just get this off higher time frame I, yeah I don't think there was another one it was that one that was closed and then we've got this double top okay so the gap has closed we've got a bit of a triangle look at the oscillators and I'm sitting on the four hour at the moment look at the oscillators the three hour oscillators you know there's lots of warnings here so we may have a little squirt to the upside but um now yeah, i'm very wary i'd rather wait for a pullback or wait for the noise to finish before i start trading this so that probably doesn't help you for today but um you know, you've got a 50 50 chance of getting this right it all depends what uh, the feds come out with so I'd rather keep your money in your pocket anyway that's me for today hope it helps and i'll catch you later cheers for now